we are workout number one um, a bit of at home personalized workouts. You hope everybody's doing great. All right, let's get to it. We have our first two strength moves. We have four sets of both. The first one's going to be a pistol. So you can do a pistol to a box, to a chair, to a couch, whatever height you want. Remember that you modified would be the heel down and then you're going to come down and tap the chair or the couch. You don't need to sit all the way down. You're just kind of tapping and then drawing back up. Or you have your heel up and you come down, tap, and then drive up. Don't do what I just did there. Let me do that again. That was not a very good one. All right, so heel up, and then you're gonna come down, and you're gonna tap, and then you're gonna drive up. Make sure the knee stays behind that toe. And then we're gonna, from the pistols, five on each leg, we're gonna go into bent over row um, with two dumbbells. Now, um, if you have light enough dumbbells, you will do a both arms at the same time and get into a good morning position. And then you're just gonna row up at the same time with both dumbbells, squeezing your squeezing your butt really tight, keeping that back nice and flat, make sure you're squeezing your belly. And um, if you have heavier dumbbells, then you could do where you put your leg up on a chair or a box, and you could do the assisted rows with one arm at a time if you have heavier weight. Otherwise, the other one will work perfectly. Um, you'll do four sets of both of those before moving on to the strength and conditioning part, which is gonna be 15 minute AMRAP, as many rounds as possible in 15 minutes. And during those 15 minutes, you're gonna do um, six squat cleans. Let me move this out of the way. So six squat cleans with your dumbbell that you have here. Drive up, use those elbows to drive up. Reset, use those elbows to drive up. You'll do six of those. After that, you'll do eight alternating push presses. You get yourself set, dip, drive, lock it out, dip, drive, lock it out. And you're doing eight of those, four on each arm. And then from there, you'll be doing a um, swings. So if you have a heavy dumbbell, you can do one swing. I mean, um, do 10 swings with one of your dumbbells. Like that, right at eye level. Use those, your hips to pop. Or you can do one arm. If you have lighter dumbbells, you can do five on each arm. So single arm swings is fine too, depending on how heavy the weight is. And then after those, you will go right into 50 jump rope or 50 pogo hops. So jump rope or pogo hops. You probably have jump ropes. Otherwise, pogo hops are just as good. Um, and then repeat that. The clock runs for 15 minutes. It's a really long time. Just keep doing those exercises for 15 minutes. Um, from there, you will do your core. And I have three to four rounds, depending on where, you're, where you are at in your core journey, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, you can do three to four um, cycles of eight double crunches and then ink, eight, ink, eight, eight, <laughs> plank walk-ups. <laughs> so the double crunches look like this. You kind of get yourself set, legs are here, and then you're gonna come up and it's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, Two. You're doing eight. I just did two sets of a double crunch. That's three, four. Okay, you're doing eight of those. And then you'll flip over. And then you're doing eight of the plank walk ups. So you're in a good forearm front plank position. And then you're going to come up one hand, two hands. That was one. That's two. This is three. This is four. Okay, so you're doing eight of those. So um, every time you come up is one, every time you come down is one separate. So you can do eight of those and you're doing three or four rounds. And then we'll move on to workout number.